hello everyone welcome to cloud Shala. this is uh, the video series on linux fundamentals today we would be discussing about the basic linux commands that are very useful and everyone should know who is working on linux in this video we would be looking at some basic commands this is part two of the series in which we are discussing linux fundamentals the first command that we would be discussing is sudo the second command that we are discussing is pwt and the third command would be cd so let's jump into the commands so the first command is sudo now sudo is a shortcut for super user do sudo is one of the most popular basic linux commands that lets you perform tasks that require administrative or root permissions on the system when using sudo the system will prompt users to authenticate themselves with a password then linux system will log a timestamp as a tracker by default every root user can run sudo commands for about 15 minutes per session if you try to run sudo in the command line without authenticating yourself the system will log the at Activity as a security event on the system that is uh, either your Linux machine or your Linux server and this would be flagged in as a security risk now the general syntax that we have for sudo is we type sudo and then a command followed by sudo it could be anything we also have some options available with uh, that we can punch in when using the sudo command that is hyphen k for resetting the timestamp hyphen g for groups which runs commands as a specific group name or a group id and hyphen h which runs commands on the host let's quickly look at uh, some practical things related to the sudo command and see what the difference is for this uh, I am already logged into my Ubuntu virtual machine and if you see I am logged in with the user Ubuntu if I have to update any thing on the server I need to do an app get and if you see that it is saying that I don't have permissions and saying that the permission is denied for this user Ubuntu in order to navigate through this I need to have sudo privileges to run the same set of commands if I do a sudo apt get update it would ask me for the password of Ubuntu user I could type in the password for the Ubuntu user and this would then initiate the update for you as you see if we ran the same command apt get update without the sudo uh, command it actually gave us an error saying that the user in this case Ubuntu does not have the valid permissions in order to read certain files and open or create some logs instead when we ran it with the sudo command we were able to download the patches and update apt get now this is a simple sudo example that we see in front of us now most users always uh, instead of typing the sudo every time what people also do is sudo su this actually switches the user to a root user now if you see that we from the user ubuntu we have already come into the root user and here i could run any command without running sudo and this should work as usual so this would not be asking us for a password every if I have to exit from the shell I would type exit and I would come out of this shell now if you see I have only come out of this root user whereas I'm actually now logged in with the Ubuntu user so this was about the sudo command that we use on a day-to-day -day basis coming to the next command that we have we would be discussing about PWT that also stands for present working directory uh, we use this command to find the path of your current working directory 
all we have to do is enter pwd and it will return the full current path a path of all the directories that starts with a forward slash for example if we are inside slash user slash username uh, of any user right we would be getting an output as that the syntax for the pwd command is very much simple uh, we just have to enter pwd and it would give you the required output there are also some options that are accepted while running this pwd command uh, one is hyphen l which also gives you the logical environment variable contents including the symbolic links there's also something called as hyphen p which actually prints the car actual path of the current directory now let's quickly go ahead and see how this actually works on a real-time basis so uh, i'm already logged into this server so if i have to understand which working directory or which folder i'm actually logged into i have to do pwd and this would give me the folder path in which i'm currently logged in a pwd hyphen capital l would also give me the same output as capital p now this is because there is no physical or logical uh, siblings that are available on this drive so this folder is pretty much new and we just have this folder now if i have to log in if i have to change it to something uh, if i do this so you would see that the command that follows is var log now don't be worried of the command that i just entered which is cd we would be discussing this command in detail in the next section that is right after this so if you see uh, the present working directory says that i'm actually into var log log space so this is about the pwd command this is a very useful command because when you log in when you log in to any linux server when you log into any linux server you are just prompted on this page and you actually don't know which home directory or which folder you're actually logged into so running a pwd would always give you a clear picture of where exactly you have landed in the linux system so this is a very useful command as we speak the next command that we have is the cd command which is also called for change directory now to navigate through the linux files and directories uh, we actually use the cd command quite a lot depending upon your current directory that is the current working directory which we can get from the pwd command in the previous example it requires the entire full path of the directory name Now cd is a very useful command used on a day to day basis you would be navigating through all the files and folders using that command on a day to day basis now running this command without an option will take you to the home folder that is the home folder of the user that is logged into we have to keep in mind that only users with sudo privileges can execute this piece of code without a c without any options on the other hand if we actually have to change directory to a specific location let's say if we have to go into home users uh, documents and uh, we want to go into photos uh, from there all we have to do is cd photos now if we are not in that location but actually in the home folder we have to give dot slash username slash document slash photos which we would be looking into and then we finally have some syntaxes now if we type cd and a tilde sign now that tilde sign is uh, on a normal keyboard it's about the tap symbol or the key next to one and we have to press it using the shift uh, tilde so if we if we enter that we would be going into another user's home directory now if i don't provide any username i would be directly going into my user's home directory 
if I have to go one directory up I would be doing cd dot dot if I want to go to the previous directory I will be doing the cd slash so let's quickly see how these kind of so let's quickly see how this can be achieved in the Linux shell as you guys see uh, I'm currently in PWD and this is a uh, slash home slash u slash ubuntu so this is the directory that i'm currently into now if i have to go into var log folder i would just enter cd slash var slash log and this will take me to the logs folder if i do an ls hyphen l which is listing all the files and folders there now as you see hyphen the d that you see here is actually meaning that this is a directory now if i have to go inside installer all i have to do is cd installer and i would be into installers right uh, the pwd is also shown over here so that's var log installer as the same present working directory that i'm into now if i have to go into private which is actually in the logs folder so what i have to do is cd dot dot to go back to the logs folder and then go into private which is this now if you see i don't have privileges to go inside this so what i can do is cd private and i would be asked for my password and then i would be allowed into the so as you see i don't have privileges to go inside this folder all I could do is do a sudo su and then go inside this private folder right now if I have to come out I could always do this and come outside the entire folder now if I have to go this is the present working directory if I have to go into my home folder of the root user I could all I could do is cd tilde and this would take me to the root folder that I now if I want to go to the root folder of Ubuntu user all I have to do is cd tilde and the Ubuntu and type the name Ubuntu and this will take me to the Ubuntu users home folder. Now if I have to go one to the folder back where I was actually there all I have to do is cd slash uh, cd hyphen and I would be taken taken into the root folder again which is where I actually came from so this is the change directory command very useful command wherein we have to navigate through the Linux file system on a day-to-day -day basis now this is very very important because uh, Linux servers especially don't have a graphical user interface to navigate through the file system and this becomes a very critical and important piece to navigate through the system now this is exactly how we do the job on a day-to-day -day basis that's it for this short video guys uh, thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like and share the video with colleagues if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and Thank you so much for watching. Keep having a great day.